Hey everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Will the Dragon Whisper. This is Leonidas and this is another video for the channel. This video we're going to be showing some footage that I took at the recent Repticon. Um, another show I vended at. It was really awesome in Raleigh, North Carolina. A lot of cool vendors there. An amazing assortment of animals. A lot of different species. So a lot of cool stuff to show to you guys. And another thing that made this show really special is you guys know I have a lot of people that I follow, um, a lot of people that are my mentors and idols. And when you've been these shows, you kind of get the backstage pass because when everybody's setting up, you can walk around and talk to some of these guys when there's no customers around and get some one-on-one. -on -one. And some uh, big-time YouTubers were at this show, big-time reptile royalty, and I got a chance to talk to those guys, uh, get some pictures with them, uh, get a chance to let those guys look at my animals, look at my setups, and uh, really get some one-on-one -on -one time with some of my idols, which uh, is really big and uh, will always make the show a really special thing no matter what else happens. So some really cool experiences and uh, a lot of cool things to show you guys. So can't wait to get into the video. Like always, let's hit the road. Roads, we don't need roads. All right, you guys, we're at AHP Exotics. This is 2021 Repticon, end of the year show in November at Raleigh. And um, you know these guys always bring it about every kind of morph and, and snake you can think of. They got the boas, they got the sand boas, they got the tiger rat snakes, they got gopher snakes, um, they got Solomon Island ground boas, they got the ball pythons, beautiful red tegu, orange banana pectinatas. If you guys ever watched Clinch Reptiles, one of his favorite, this species of iguana is supposed to be one of the easiest to work with and, uh, and, and tame down and they're just beautiful, beautiful iguanas. Here's a Cuban rock iguana, one of my favorites. Beautiful water monitor right here, kind of all curled up. I think he's done for the weekend. Um, and a lot of cool, there's a jewel lacertas. Um, I love these guys, really, really pretty animals. A giant butterfly gama here. Um, this blade, um, excuse me, blonde leopard tortoise, really amazing. Really cool green tree python up here chilling. And you guys don't hardly ever see these. Just started getting these in the country. These are Baltic legless lizards. They look like a lizard and a snake that got its legs chopped off. But these guys have no legs, but they look completely like a lizard. You can see that kind of uh, striation or divide in the middle where you think legs would come out of, but they have no legs. But this is considered a lizard, and they come from the Baltics. Pretty incredible species. We've got some Colombian boas here, Argentine boas, really nice boas, a motley retic right here, beautiful jungle carpet pythons, this is actually Riddles python, um, beautiful, beautiful, we've got some hog noses here, you can see the anaconda morphs, there's the albino super anaconda, um, and here's some more of those milk snakes, really cool, look at this platinum retic, got some jungles. Um, just really, really cool. This guy always has an incredible ex assortment. I like this Xanthic Phantom Tiger retic right here. Um, just beautiful, beautiful animals. Some more really big retics and boas. And then we're going to hop over these people right here real quick. And then we've got a beautiful mangrove monitor down here. A really big savannah monitor to make Rex look small. That is a huge savannah monitor. Still not full grown, I don't think. A nice Argus monitor. But you guys don't see these often. These are the frill dragons, kind of the ones uh, from Jurassic Park. You see, they kind of blow their neck out. Obviously, this is a completely different species, but kind of reminiscent of those. Um, got those big flaps that they're going to flare out when they get mean and, uh, and upset. Uh, but really, really beautiful lizards. Got some Aki monitors here. You guys know that's one of my favorite monitor species. Kind of small guys and uh, easier to tame down. A beautiful blue tail monitor. Look at the blue coloring uh, in his tail right here. That is a blue tailed monitor. And uh, once again, this is uh, AHP Exotics. You can see how long their tables and setup is, and they just always bring amazing animals. This albino blood python right here. Just look at the face on that guy. Look at the face on this, so it's a black blood python female and uh, just some really, really cool animals. So if you guys get out to a show and you're looking to pick up something really crazy and exotic like this black headed python, then come check these guys out at AHP Exotics. Once again, you guys, we're at the 2021 Repticon. This is the lovely Mindy. And if you guys are wanting to add some really nice driftwood or, uh, you know, enrichment type of pieces, 
to your enclosures. You know, I have a lot of this type of stuff in mind, especially if you have big monitor cages, um, big lizards, big snake enclosures, and you're looking for one of these big pieces of wood, especially something like this with the Y shape that's gonna span, give the animals a lot of room, a lot of places to climb, create hide spaces. Then you have a lot of these flat pieces that are gonna give flat areas that are not only creating climbing, but also hides for your animals. So this is a lot of great stuff. This stuff's hard to find. If you don't wanna go walk around your lake for hours to find this stuff, Mindy's already done it. So take advantage of that and come check her out. She's at a lot of shows, especially in this area. This is her Venmo stuff. Reach out to her if you wanna get you some awesome wood to go in your enclosures. All right, you guys, we are at the 2021 Repticon here in Raleigh, and we are at Hulker's Herps with Mr. Dennis here, and I have been admiring this gentleman's ball pythons during the show, and he has a great setup. I believe this is the Alpha Dry, Alpha Dry that they're using as a substrate, and these guys have brought their A game. You've got every freaking amount of morphs. I mean, I've never seen five freeways uh, at a show before, um, but he has a really awesome assortment. The way he does his setup, these kind of racks on the corner, the black tablecloths. Um, I mean, he has hundreds of ball pythons here, every morph and uh, color you can imagine. But I really wanted you guys to see some of these really colorful bananas he has over here. I mean, he's got some really incredible Honduran milk snakes, really, really cool looking snakes. Uh, kind of the stripe on the head there. Um, but these guys right here, uh, this banana inchy head clown, um, but this banana inchy clown is probably going to get my ball python of the show award. The, the marking, the pattern, and the colors. And then this banana, I believe this banana head clown right here is just super, super amazing. And this banana clown down here, just the oranges, the purples, and yellows, super bright. Everything is popping. And the price points are really good as well. So if you guys get out to a show, come see Dennis and Hulker's, Hulker's Herps. Well, we are at the 2021 Repticon in Raleigh, North Carolina. Wanted to show you guys, this is the Tar Heel Exotics setup. Show is going, people are just now coming in the door. We have some of our custom building closures, signs about it, got the business cards out, little Christmas lights, got some accessories. Got my ball pythons, leopard geckos, crested geckos, bearded dragons. Um, got the YouTube channel playing. Really nice Tar Heel exotic sign we got going on there. And um, all our nice, beautiful animals. We're excited that the show is just getting started. And uh, wanted to make sure I had some video of my actual setup in this video. I usually get too carried away and pushing the setting up right to the last minute. So I uh, hope you guys get out to a show. If you do, check me out and uh, look for my setup. All right, you guys, we're at the 2021 Repticon here in Raleigh, and we have Liliana here, and she is holding Ramses. It is so adorable. This is her family all out here at the Repticon. So when you guys see the video, this is what makes it for me. I get so excited seeing people interact with the animals, and uh, Liliana's making such a nice little nice little resting place for Ramses. He's falling in love. So you guys, uh, if you get out to a show, come check us out. All right, you guys, we are at the Tar Heel Exotics, my booth here at the 2021 Repticon. This is Griffin and Shakira, and Shakira is holding my little lesser female, and it is the first snake she's ever held in her life. Griffin owns one. He's trying to convert her, so uh, they're here at the booth, and she is having her first snake experience, so really, really awesome. I uh, want to send a big shout-out to these guys. People getting over their fears and handling a snake for the first time, that's why I do this, so uh, you guys check out the YouTube video and give a big shout-out to Griffin and Shakira. We are at the Repticon, and although this is a reptile show, look at the size of this dog. It is basically like a small horse. Beautiful, beautiful Great Dane. I mean, his head is bigger than any of the humans' heads that are standing around him. This is an incredibly massive dog, and he is only 11 months old. So he's really literally a giant, big, giant baby. What an incredible animal. All right, you guys, we're at the 2021 Repticon, and we are at Paige's Leashes and Lizard Leashes, and we are with Ann and Paige, and these guys gave me an awesome leash for Rex that I'm going to be showing him walking on in the video, but these leashes these guys have are super awesome, 
They have a lot of sizes, and the way that these work on your dragons, it's really comfortable. This material is nice and soft. Um, it's really durable, and it allows you to kind of cinch them up in there like a little, little, little suitcase type of a deal and make them feel secure. And they have a bunch of different patterns. I really like the dragon scale and some of these other things. Really cool, great price point. They're really reasonable. They're beautiful, awesome. So if you guys see them at a show, come check out Ann and her uh, beautiful daughter Paige and get you a leash. Here's the information. Hit them up, call them, text them, get you a leash for your lizard. Here is some footage of me walking Rex in one of the cool harnesses and leashes that Paige's leashes donated to him because they thought he was such a cool monitor. It was easy to control him when he was on the leash because he kept wanting to go under the tables and get away from the people walking around. Okay guys, once again, we are at the 2021 Repticon in Raleigh, North Carolina, and this is Brass Man Reptiles. Please hit him up on Instagram, or if you come out to a show, here is Mr. Jeremy right here, and his sidekick, Mr. Rob. Now you guys may recognize these guys from Nerd and working with Kevin McCurley, but these guys are in North Carolina now. They're doing their own thing. So when you see these guys, don't say, hey, it's Rob from Nerd. No, it's just Rob. It's Rob and Jeremy from Brass Man Reptiles. So uh, you guys need to check them out. They got a Reptile Talk podcast that comes on. Here's the scan for that. Check it out. Get up close and personal. And these guys have some killer ball pythons. You know their knowledge because you've seen these guys working with Kevin. They've got Borneo. They got the Bloods. They got some killer ball pythons. They got the Jungle Carpet pythons. I mean, look at this lavender head pied right here. Uh, $1,000, good price points. I mean, amazing animals. You know if there's anybody in this whole building that knows how to care for these animals, knows how to breed these animals, it's these guys. Their knowledge base is amazing. Look at this monster Amazon right here. This exanthic zebra. Look at this Amazon tree boa that's still in the red phase, but just beautiful, beautiful snakes. You guys have seen Jeremy and Rob for years. Uh, working with Kevin and you just know these guys have an incredible knowledge base, incredible um, amount of experience working with these animals. There's not a question you can ask these guys about these animals that they're not going to be able to answer. So if you get out to a show, definitely check them out, Brassman Reptiles. Make sure you check out the Reptile Talk podcast and shout these guys out on Instagram. I know that Jeremy's Instagram is Brassman Reptiles. I think Rob's is Rob is Creeping It Real. Rob is creeping it real, so once again, I want to reiterate, when you see these guys say, hey, it's Rob, and it's Jeremy from Brassman Reptiles, they're getting so sick of hearing, hey, it's Jeremy from Nerd, and it's Rob from Nerd. So, they're in North Carolina now. Well, Nerd, we're Nerd is, no, we oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they, they still rep it, but these guys are in North Carolina now. They're doing their own thing. Give them some love. Rob's Creeping It Real, Brassman Reptile on Instagram. Check them out. Show these guys some love. All right, you guys. We are at the 2021 Repticon, and I just kind of want to highlight this. These guys do custom um, birthday parties, corporate events, festivals, school trips. They have a, a trailer that is built out full of reptile cages. And this stud right here, I believe his name is... Mushu. Mushu, that's right, Mushu. This is a huge Nile monitor, and Taryn here is holding this guy. And if you guys notice these really super cool wings, it's also like a harness um, that Mushu's got on here. There we go. And uh, they're really cool. And, and Taryn and Easton here have these awesome sets of dragon wings. These are incredible, really got some texture and design to them. They've got small wings and big wings really really cool and this is something i haven't seen a snake show custom snake bags with all different kind of materials um, they've also got a really killer iguana that they've had with them here but these guys do a lot of reach out work a lot of big cool animals um, a lot of educational stuff so definitely support them check them out if you get out to a show or your corporation or your, or your church or your youth group or somebody is looking for something like that definitely reach out to these guys get in touch with them um, there's the website and the number there visit um, these guys and book something for your group because they have an amazing set of animals and a, and a lot of information to share with you guys all right you guys we're at the 2021 repticon and this is what the geck um, i really love her signs and the way she has them lit up and their little curtain back here really cool 
Um, she has some really cool new uh, humid hides that I haven't seen. They actually have a little pad in the roof to put uh, moisture in so it'll keep humidity in those hides. Really, really cool. Um, the feeding ledges and stuff like that. And also you're starting to see more of these. A couple companies are starting to come out with different tool sets. They'll be cleaning the calcium deposits and hard water out of your tanks in the corners. Um, but once again, what the geck. Super cool setup. And this kind of kitsch type of knickknack stuff she has. Um, these crested gecko things and the little geckos. They kind of have wobbly heads. Um, this guy right here, like super, super cute. Um, the, the dragons here. Lots of cool little kind of knickknacks. But her signage and her setup, really incredible. And some of her geckos, she's got really, really clean, cool lines. Dalmatian here some really cool little babies um really pretty gargoyle geckos here um kind of light colors this one's got some really cool striping um so if, you, if you're looking for a gargoyle or crested gecko high-end good bloodlines come check out what the geck when you get to a show all right you guys once again this is will the dragon whisperer thank you so much for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed it hope you saw some animals that maybe you've never seen before some species you didn't even know existed and big shout out to all the people that vended and let me get footage of their spots to show off in the video so if you guys get out to repticon give them guys some love always smash that like button you guys ring that notification bell uh please consider subscribing if you haven't already and uh, stay tuned for the big announcement about the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, this is the Dragon Whisperer, and I'm out.